Hello to everyone and welcome back to the second episode of Building Roller Coasters with Jamie. Now in the last episode, the following field data standed like this. So, so far our coaster is looking pretty good at the moment, our brand new inverted coaster. So, you can see the field rating is 55 out of 100 and the nausea rating is 29 out of a possible 100. So, so far it is looking good to me at the moment. However, we have not finished the coaster quite yet. So you can just see here, you might see it if I can just zoom in, you can just see that the coaster is just near the station where I actually started to build the next bank turn. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to finish off the second half of this awesome looking inverted coaster. So, you can see here, I've just started building the um, next left bank turn, you can just see here, and that's what I'm going to carry on with, so we're going to go by one, and then we're going to create some more air time, so we'll go up by one, and then we'll go down by one, up, down, and you can see here the fill rating is now in the green section so what we're going to do now is we are going to now connect this back to the station because otherwise if you can see here the nausea rating is going up slightly so what we're going to do is we're going to keep it nice and smooth just go up the lift hill just go around a few turns however now the problem is that we've got to get the coaster round to the other side so we're not going to go um, right, we're going to actually go left, so something a bit like that, and then we'll create one more bit of air time. And you can see here that the power meter is, is half full, and then we'll just connect the coast around. However, now the problem is, is that our coaster is going to reach. No. Nope. That's not going to happen, so we'll get rid of that. We'll just keep making the twists. Nope, that's not going to work either. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, uh, such a shame because my coaster would have looked really good if it was actually. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll actually keep the. Um, we'll create another. Uh, so I'm left hill, and then we'll send it round, and then we'll just use the auto track to finish it off. So there you go, then that is the final result of the thrill rating and the nausea rating. So we have a thrill rating of 85 out of 100, and we have a nausea rating of 44 out of 100, which is not too bad for an, for a coaster. However, the the really bad thing is, is if it's in the orange or in the red then that is not going to be a good coaster to go on. However, on this occasion, we are actually fine for this coaster. Okay then, so after all that hard work of building, it is now time to paint this roller coaster. So, like I said, I'll go through the color, the colors again, the color schemes if you want uh, to know more about the colors. So, color one, uh, this will color in the section of the track. You can choose any color you want. Or, if you prefer, you can either use the paint mixer, and there's a little a paint wheel, and you can change, and you can use lots of different shades of colours if you wanted to. If you wanted to go for like any different colours, or you want to make it darker, or a bit brighter, it is completely up to you. So, colour two will colour the rails of the track. You can just see here. Colour three will colour the, um, the, the supports inside the track. Where the you can just see here, color four will color the actual train. Color five will color the seats and the the other patterns of this train. You can see here, and then color six will color in the. So this is actually a dragon coaster, so it'll actually color in the teeth and the the claws that are on this ride. So yeah, let's get painting. So, for this coaster, I think I want to 
use, let's go for a nice, yeah we'll go for a little bit of a darker red. I think we'll have a dark orange. Yeah we'll go for a yellow and then I think I'm going to make my dragon green. And then for the seats, I'm trying to think, let's go for the paint wheel, so let's try and make it, yeah that's it, go for pink. And then for the, um, and I think we'll go for white for the seats, so there you go, so that is what I wanted my coaster to look like. So, there you go then, that is all the second half of the roller coaster completed, and in this episode I also painted the actual train and the track of this ride. Next week then, you all know what next week's episode is going to be. It's going to be part three and it is going to involve me showing you the roller coaster in action and doing a short review on this awesome roller coaster. Thank you very much for watching Bradford Productions and I'll see you in the next video.